one of my favorite artists of all time, Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe was an American artist that lived from 1887 to 1986. She was a very famous artist who truly enjoyed nature. She painted pictures of flowers, rocks, mountains, shells, even the skulls of animals when she would walk through the desert in her vacation home in New Mexico. Georgia O'Keeffe created more than 200 flower paintings in her lifetime, but she painted her flowers differently than most artists. Georgia O'Keeffe would enlarge her flowers so they would come right off of the canvas and force people to look at the inside of the flower. Sometimes Georgia O'Keeffe's flowers looked real and sometimes they looked very abstract with beautiful colors. They always looked beautiful. Georgia O'Keeffe had a vacation home in New Mexico where she eventually lived. She would love to take walks in the desert and collect animal bones. Here's a picture of her holding one of her very famous paintings up of her pelvis series. It was a pelvic bone of an animal, but it was enlarged so you could see the sun set right through the center of the hole. Georgia O'Keeffe lived until 98 years old, but her legacy lives on. Her paintings are seen throughout the world. She broke all the records for the highest paid auction price of one of her paintings back in 2014 for $44 million. These are just a few samples of her paintings she's done throughout her lifetime. If you need to, pause the video so you can really stop and look at the beauty of each one of her pictures. Okay, for our art projects today, I actually started, and I'd like all of you to start this way too, by going into your yard or um, a walk around your house or take a walk with one of your parents and look at some things in nature that you can maybe pluck off a bush or a tree. I would not go picking anyone's flowers, but you know, some branches or some leaves or things to inspire you um, to look at like some of the paintings after looking at those slides that Georgia O'Keeffe did, but to inspire you to create what you're going to create today. Now, remember, I know some of you do not have um, art supplies, so we're gonna start with just a pencil drawing. But if we're doing this like Georgia O'Keeffe, we're gonna take not just one piece of this um, branch, but we're gonna look at her flowers and we're gonna look at them very, very closely so that you could see the inside of the flower, where you can focus on what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna get my pencil and we're gonna sketch this as really large to go right off that paper. So I'm gonna start actually by taking like one or two pieces of my, my nature things that I found here and I'm gonna try to sketch them as large as I can. And I wanna take some of the details that I see like on the branch and on the leaves and I'm just gonna sketch it lightly first in pencil and then I'm gonna try and shade it in. So let's see. I'm gonna have this branch maybe come completely off the page. Because remember, she went right off the page with these things. Maybe that's my branch. Another little branch here. And some leaves. I'm gonna go right off the page. Maybe this flower. There's another. even use the inside of the flower. I'm just doing a quick sketch, that's it. Okay, so there's my quick sketch. 
Now I'm gonna just shade this a little bit. If all I have is pencil, and if I have some crayons or some and colors, you can add that as well. But I'm just gonna show you now in the next slide how we could shade it, make it look a little bit more dramatic. So here is my Georgia O'Keeffe inspired sketch. Um, I made sure all of my parts of my flower, my leaves are off the page, that they filled up the entire page. I kind of enlarged that little twig that I was looking at and that little flower and I, and I made it kind of come off the side where you could see the, the, the side of the flower here and it came off. And I also just wanted to review with you boys and girls, if this is your own just to review with you all, if you only have a pencil to use, it's fine because pencils not only can draw lines, but if you use the pencil sideways and you kind of hold it to the point of the pencil side, we can get something called a value study. You can color in with the pencil as hard as you can, and then you can lighten your pencil up to make all these different shades of gray. So that's what kind of sketched in my um, in my picture here, my Georgia O'Keeffe inspired picture, I used my pencil and I shaded in some parts so that it didn't look boring and just like a black and white picture. I wanna see at least some shading. Now, another option, if you just wanted to do an actual drawing and take a flower and make it really large, start with just a, a light sketch, but then if you have crayons and if you have uh, markers or anything at home, um, color it in bring some color to it. So maybe I'll sketch this flower so it's really, really big, then I'm just gonna see the inside. Okay, so there's my finished products. I have one that I colored in because I had some colors and uh, markers, crayons I used on this one with a very large Georgia O'Keeffe styled flower that came off the page. And again, if I didn't, if you don't have anything, you could just use your pencil and some paper and show some shading in there and some values of gray. But both of those are very much inspired by Georgia O'Keeffe. I can't wait to see your artwork. Don't forget to take a picture.